Did you know it's January? A little bit of a play on words there, and that's Jeff Stevenson uh, right next to me. He is joining us with some air-related uh, demonstrations all to celebrate January. Exactly, um, and what I brought today, Chris, is I brought some steam, okay? And this is probably what you think of when you think of steam, like on the tea kettle or something like that. But what we're seeing is actually not steam because that's, that's the air molecules condensing um, to form kind of like a cloud, right? Okay. If when you have condensing air molecules, you know, Chris, as a meteorologist, that you get sure. cloud formation like that. What, what really is the steam is the invisible stuff right at the very tip of your tea kettle. That's really what steam is. By definition, steam is invisible. So we're going to see if, and, and you know steam is 212 degrees, and we're going to see if this, this quote unquote steam is hot enough to ignite a match. Really? So go okay. ahead and see if you can't just put it right in the path. So I have a match stick yes, here. Yes, and get it, get it nice and close. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working, right? Okay. And, and the reason for that is, if you can go ahead, you can go ahead and set that down. So you set me up to fail. I, I didn't set you up to fail. I set you up to learn something, okay. Chris, to learn something. Because Fair enough, Jeff. this is actually condensing just a lot of water, okay. as you can see. And so we're actually probably moistening that match more than we are. That's what I was thinking initially when you told me to do that. Exactly. All right. So what I need your help doing is if you put those down, put on some goggles. Okay. We're going to get our blow torches here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and you're going to kind of torch these bottom three rings and I'm going to torch the top and okay. we're going to see if we can't superheat this steam. Fire it up, my friend. All right, here we go. And now you'll see that some of the water that's collected in the bottom is going to kind of squirt out, but that's pretty normal. Okay. And we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to the steam hotter and hotter beyond 212 degrees Fahrenheit because we want it superheated. And how we'll know that it's superheated is that the steam will no longer be visible. You see how it's really? kind of getting clearer and clearer? It is. And now this is the dangerous part is because now you can't really see it, but it's actually the absolute most dangerous portion. Get, get right in there, Chris. Don't, okay. don't be shy. I, I, I'll get after I, it, I buddy. need you to help me here. I need you to help me. We, we got to superheat it. All right. Do you, do you, I'd say, do you see it? But you can't see it, right? I don't. No. You don't see it. So now we know that we're pretty hot. So if you want to put yours down, go ahead and turn your torch off. I'm going to continue to torch and go ahead and try a different match, one that we haven't moistened. Okay. I'm gonna keep it heated. Yep, and put it right up next to it. Ooh, and as you can see, we are actually able to light a match. That one didn't stay on too long, but we are able to light a match, right? You can try another one if you'd sure. like. Sure. Maybe come in from the top. Yes, perfect, perfect. Maybe, maybe let's try a piece of paper. How about we try a piece of paper? Still use the tongs. And just put it right up next to the nozzle there. And as you can see, it's put it right in the center of the paper, right in the center of the paper. Now, it's, it's, it's not going to light the paper, but it is doing that browning, right? We are actually able to burn it. And there's all this invisible steam that's superheated that is igniting our paper. Now, I did bring one more fun item. Okay. Okay. Now, normal paper is okay, but I brought you, if you want to put that down, some flash paper. This is like the magician's tool. So oh. if you want to put that down, and I'm going to keep heating this up because I need it to maintain that super, super okay. hot temperature. All right, and just go ahead and just bear, just put it right in the tip there. Now this is a magician's flash paper. All right, and it just immediately kind of goes away. Isn't that nifty? Do you want to do it again? I know you do, Chris. Please. All right, this is the, we're gonna use uh, like twice the size of paper though. All right. Ready? Still okay, superheated. Let, let me make sure it's superheated. All right, are you ready? And three, two, one. Put it in. Woo! And it's such cool paper because it's gone before it even hits the table. Isn't that amazing? Find that somewhere in thin air. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's out there. It's that's out there. science. Yes. That's what you guys are all about at the Imagination Station. So, what are we going to get into with January? Well, January we have all kinds of fun. You know, we're talking about superheated steam, which you know it's obviously water that's kind of in the air. Um, they use this a lot of uh, industrial purposes. But in, in the building, we're going to be learning about how to make these really nifty gliders and smoke rings, and how to do your own at-home air cannon. So, if you've ever, I know you've probably been thinking at home. I, I'm so bored. I wish I could build an air cannon. You can come to Imagination <laughs> Station and learn how to do that. And this you month. can do that. Yes. All right. Always warm and cozy in the Imagination Station as well while you're exactly. learning. So good thought on a cold day. That's Jeff, thank true. you so much. Appreciate that. Stay with us. We're coming right back.